Hey, what's going on, Neil? This is Parker with Uncharted Recreation here in Meridian, Idaho. In front of me here, I have the 2023 StarCraft 26BH. Um, this is the one that you inquired on. Just thought I'd make this quick video, walk around it, show you the ins and outs, uh, maybe some of the features that set this brand apart, uh, and then obviously some of the packages and features that you'll be getting with this unit. So let's start with some specs here before I do the walk around. Um, this unit has a retail price of $34,231. We've discounted this unit $13,236, making the total $20,995. And then of course, if you're willing to finance for at least seven payments, um, you would qualify for that finance voucher that can be applied towards the price, um, trade values, um, accessories, etc. cetera. So um, anyway, uh, this unit has a total length of 29 feet 6 inches, total width of 8 feet, and your height, and this is to the top of the AC unit on top of the unit, is 10 feet 7 inches. This one's got an 18, almost a 19 foot awning. It's a power awning with an LED light strip. I'll get closer so you can kind of see that. So there's an LED light that runs underneath all the way to the other side. So yeah, almost a 19 foot awning here. Dry weight of this guy is uh, 4,740 pounds. Your gross vehicle weight rating is 6,500 pounds. Fresh water tank on this one's been upgraded since it's an Idaho built coach. So it's 84 gallons. Your gray water and black water are both 39 gallons each. AC unit on this one is 13,500 BTUs. Uh, we'll talk more about that when we get inside. And then the heater, it's an upgraded uh, furnace at 25,000 BTU, which is a little bit overkill for this size of a trailer, um, but obviously that's not a bad thing. That just means it's going to heat up a lot quicker um, and it's going to be a little bit more efficient. So um, we'll start up front here, kind of work our way around. So you'll notice you're going to have two propane tanks on this unit. So I'll open this up and just show you. So you can see in there, these are both seven gallon tanks. So 14 gallons total, which these are about the biggest size tanks you can put on a trailer. So you won't have to worry about running out of propane, which is nice. Uh, you do get a power tongue jack on this unit as well. So just press of a button, it'll go up or down. Pretty straightforward, makes it easy when the kids, you know, want to help you set up camp and all that. They can just help you with that portion of it. Um, this unit does have a two and five sixteenths inch ball, or that's what it's compatible with anyway. You got your seven way, of course, your chains. Um, right now, I've just got a battery box hooked up to it just to turn on the, all the lights and everything. But normally, your batteries would sit up front here. And then when we install those for people, we do put them in waterproof um, cases and we strap them down to the front of the trailer and make it look nice. And we'll wire it for you, and of course, um, and all that good stuff. So up front here, about a third maybe a quarter, about a third of the front uh, is covered by this diamond plating. This is nice, you know, if your truck or vehicle is spitting up rocks or anything, it's not gonna damage the front of the trailer. And then you've got this nice um, aluminum on the, the front here, and then it's a corrugated aluminum on the side. So nice thing about aluminum is obviously it won't rust. Um, this trailer, you know, as long as you take care of it, of course, should look the same 10 years from now. You got your big logo up front here. The blue tape, by the way, that just means we took this to an RV show um, not too long ago, like I was telling you on the phone. Um, but yeah, that's the front of the trailer. We'll start working our way around the passenger side here. So first thing I want to make mention of is this unit has um, manual stabilizing jacks, which is uh, not a bad thing, of course. What a lot of people do is they'll get a socket that fits that right there and they'll just bring a cordless drill with them and it makes light work of it instead of having to hand crank it. And then obviously if they ever bend or snap or anything like that, um, they're pretty easy to replace. So when you open up your compartment door here, there's a little magnet that holds it up like that. Sorry about the noise here, I'm off a, a busy road here, but uh, here's your pass through storage. Goes all the way through to the other side. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. There is even a little um, light inside here that you can turn on. So pretty nice. Alrighty. And then again, there's that awning. Um, pretty good size. It's almost the whole length of the trailer here. 
and uh, I can't put it out all the way just because of how tight we park things here, but uh, these do have shock absorbers built into them. So it, let's say it's raining pretty hard. If you get a bunch of water pooled up on top of the awning, about 40 pounds or so, one side uh, will actually lower and let all that water off. Kind of nice. And then also if it's windy, it's nice to have a little bit of uh, shock absorption um, so that it doesn't rip your awning off. But of course you should probably just put your awning in if it is really windy anyway. But uh, coming around this side, this is your front door, your entryway here. You do get a solid step made by Lippert. Super nice. Um, it's adjustable. So you've got these things down here that you can pull and adjust the, the legs depending on, you know, maybe you're on uneven ground or whatever. And then when you're ready to go, this just folds up inside the camper like that. And then you're good to go. You shut your door and then you don't have your stairs hanging down underneath where they can get caught up on things. Uh, so you get better ground clearance too for, for that reason. So pretty nice. All right, we'll keep going this way. There's your model number right there. You are gonna have outdoor speakers on this unit as well. So you have two zones, you have an inside zone and an outside zone. You can either play all your music to the outside, all your music to the inside or both. It's kind of nice. You'll have AC power right here. Okay. And just so you can see the tires here, it is a dual axle trailer. So it's going to be really good for, for towing. Not as squirrely as some of these little single axle trailers. And then coming towards the rear, you've got this compartment back here. Just a small little storage spot for whatever you, you want to put back here. All right, I'll step back a little bit so you can see this side of the trailer. Again, this is a new trailer. It's going to have a full factory warranty. You got your rear bumper here, which your uh, sewer hose can be stored inside here. That's what most people do. Uh, that's a quick propane connect here. So if you wanted to bring your own, let's say, um, Blackstone or anything like that, that's what that's for. You can just tap into that and uh, away you go. So back here, that's your uh, access panel to your water heater. Spare tires mounted on the back here. So These windows are for your bunk beds. I'll show you that from the inside here in a bit. Uh, this little thing up here, that's your ladder prep. So there's a there's a ladder you can buy that's made by Lippert and it just basically clips right into that uh, whenever you do need to get on the roof. This does have a PVC roof, which is arguably one of the longest lasting roof materials you can use in an RV. And then you've also got a backup camera um, prep up there as well. So all the wiring and everything's there for it. You just need the camera itself to complete it. So. That's the rear. Let's see if I can climb over here and get to the other side for you. Okay, so on this side, stabilizer jack, your black holding tank and gray water holding tank are gonna be back here. Your docking station can be right here with your outdoor shower. So there's a little hose piece you can get for this. And you've got hot and cold water back here and then your city uh, water and fresh water fill ports are right here as well. So pretty nice. And then 30 amp power. So if you're going to a campground where there is power, maybe you're bringing a generator with you, this is where you'd plug in. This panel right here is just uh, for accessing your refrigerator. Okay. Coming around to the front here, you got your low point drain down underneath here. That's just your exhaust for the furnace. And then this is your potable water. And then if you want to pause the video, here's some, here's the VIN number and some tire info and all that kind of stuff. And then this is just your other access panel to your pass through storage. So that's about what's going on on this side of the trailer. So again, I'll walk so you can kind of see there's no damage on this thing. Could use a wash, that's for sure, but course that's something we would do for you alrighty so let's hop back over to this other side all right let's head inside I'll show you the floor plan on this thing so 
When you first come in, you're going to have a jackknife sofa right here. So these are kind of neat because you can pull up on them and you'll have a little bit of storage underneath. And then on that far side, that's where your furnace sits. And then, actually I'll just show you, that can fold flat into a bed. So let's see if I can get it back up with one hand. There we go. Okay, your kitchen's gonna be located right here. So you'll get a large stainless steel sink here, single compartment. Makes washing those bigger items a little bit easier. We'll have overhead storage above. So that goes all the way through. You'll have a three burner stove here. The little black backsplash um, piece of glass there. And this one does still have the oven, which are still, they're kind of going away on a lot of trailers, but it's nice that it still has it microwave up top here and then your refrigerator is located here so this is a gas electric fridge and freezer all right let me back up so you can see the dinette area here so a little four-person dinette this also serves as a bed you can take the legs out drop the table down then you just take your back cushions here and fill in the middle and you've got another sleeping space here pretty good size too nice big window here overhead storage up top and your radio control is also going to be right here so that's radio bluetooth all that good stuff more overhead on this side as well there actually is storage underneath these dinette seats by the way if you pull up the cushion you can pull the panel off and store stuff underneath does come with this um, 32 inch smart TV. Thermostat's located just below it. All right, now moving towards the rear of the trailer, you're gonna have your bunks here. These are double over double, so they're pretty big size. These are 600 pound rated each. So Starcraft has um, some of the highest weight capacities for their bunks compared to any other brands. You'll have a window on the top and bottom USB and uh, regular AC power, and then a little net just to hold uh, any items like phones or anything like that. Coming down on the bottom, same thing. Window, power, little storage space. And then you can actually lift up this, and you've got a bunch of storage under here. I call this the, the toy box. So, pretty cool. On this side here, this is your vanity, so it's actually outside of the bathroom, which makes it nice because then you can still wash your hands and everything while someone's in the using the shower or the bathroom. So a little bit of storage underneath your sink and access to some of your plumbing. Here's your sink, power, and you do have a medicine cabinet as well. So kind of nice. All right, now let's go into the bathroom here. So you'll have, a, of course, your toilet, your shower with a little tub. So I don't know if you have little ones or not. But here's your shower, your exhaust fan. So pretty straightforward. All right, now let's head towards the front of the camper. So we already kind of saw all of this here. So here's the bedroom. So you do have a walk around queen bed here. It's an RV queen. Cool thing about this one in particular is you do have another toy box style storage space under the bed. You'll have storage on either side of your bed or I guess a place to put things as well as power on both sides. This other side even has USB ports for charging phones and things like that. You'll have these hanging closets on each side of the bed, as well as a pretty good size overhead storage as well. And then you've got your light there. Now, if you're wondering what's on the wall over here, that is your solar controller. So as mentioned earlier, 
you do have solar already on this thing. It's 200 watts, so should be plenty. You can add up to 600 watts using this same controller, which is kind of nice. And then your TV backer is on this wall too, so that's why you've got power and cable up here. So if you wanted to put a small TV in here, you could as well. So, all righty. And it's kind of hard to see coming into the bedroom, but you do have a sliding pocket door here. So you just unlatch that. And then you've got some privacy from the rest of the family or whoever you're bringing with you. So kind of nice. A couple other things that make this trailer unique, um, comparing it to other brands out there. Your AC unit, the 13,500 BTUs, uh, Picture it like a racetrack in your ceiling. It's gonna be the most efficient system out there. Um, it's constantly blowing air in a circular pattern, makes it so the AC doesn't have to work as hard and it is ducted so you have these vents throughout. So you can open and close those and send the air where you want it to go. And then as for the, the furnace, um, like I said earlier, it is kind of overkill for this size trailer, um, which is obviously a good thing. It just means it'll heat up better. This unit also has a heated and enclosed underbelly. So what that means for you is uh, you can do some extended season camping and not have to worry about your tanks freezing as long as obviously you're keeping your furnace running and everything, uh, pumping hot air down there. The other cool thing is StarCraft kicks it up a notch. They'll actually suspend their tanks. So rather than your water tanks just being hugged up against the bottom of the trailer, they suspend them a little bit so there's a little bit of a gap above them. That way the hot air can circulate around the entire tank. Um, so kind of cool that they do that. And then on top of that, um, this unit also is going to feel a little bit bigger than other trailers, a little bit more spacious. Even though there's no slide, this has 81 inch ceilings, which is um, pretty tall. I mean, taller than most other trailers that we carry. So I'm six foot, you know, one and I still have several inches of head clearance here. Um, so a couple little small things. And then obviously, yeah, we talked about these are built in Idaho. So uh, means we don't have to pay as much for freight, meaning you can get a little bit more trailer for the price because um, they are built here locally. So um, anyway, hopefully I covered most everything that you wanted me to cover. Of course, um, I'm sure I didn't cover everything. So if there's anything I you want me to touch on or any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.